Oh my gosh. Oh my God, dude. It's happening. Whoa. We're here. At long last. Bah. Bah. A room full of gamers. <laughs> A room full of gamers. <laughs> We're only gaming right now. <laughs> the stream, it's Drawfee is back on Twitch. We've got so many people watching and none of you can subscribe because we're starting over. <laughs> it's baby. so funny. Starting It'll from be the bottom. Fun. We have so many people on the stream, but we can't get any money yeah, for it. 2K Yay. viewers of $0, Yay. baby. That's how we do it on Drawfee. 2K zero dollars. We don't we're... believe in money. <laughs> <laughs> the, Henson, the Henson studio is just, I mean, I, can, I don't even know how they do half the things they do. Okay. You, you know, they're in dedicated. Charge of this drawing. Yeah, but yeah. they're the ones who are puppeteering the scene. Up where You're they puppeteering walk, it. Up where they run. <laughs> up where they lay all day in the sun. Ah! <laughs> that was very good. Yeah. Spot on. Good work. <laughs> it's so good. It has asses everywhere. Yeah, this horse is mostly asses. <laughs> oh, it's tooting right in his face. <laughs> Giving us a little thumbs up. <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing in the ticket booth? Hey, guys, do you want to watch Yes Boy ice cream together? Here we go. Yeah, let me in. <laughs> Does it sound great? <laughs> Guys, it's Yes Boy Ice Cream. We saw them together. I'm so glad Yes Boy Ice Cream was playing today. Let's leave. <laughs> Or can we get the Yes Boy ice cream gajinkas, please? <laughs> yes, actually, though. I can't even, like, see them. But you feel them. Yeah, yeah. You, know, feel them. you know them in your heart. I just want to see Yes Boy ice cream as hot boys. Now I found an article on the Neopian Times called The Truth Behind the Band, Yes Boy Ice Cream. Oh, what's <laughs> the truth? Yeah. Who what's are the they? Truth? I got to know the truth. It's a very long article. <laughs> Please so, read it. Read it and summarize it for me. Yes. All right. Here we go. Here's, okay, yeah, here's yeah. the important highlight. Uh -huh. Okay. His thoughts were interrupted when Saber X asked, "Would you like some ice cream?" <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream was a rare treat in Tarania. <laughs> and then he said, yes, "Yes, boy." Boy. <laughs> ice cream. Replied Saber X. <laughs> That's when it all began. Those words hit the red shoy ryu as the perfect band name. That's not any. Why would anyone say the those rest words? Is history. Yes, <laughs> You're telling me someone just organically said the phrase "yes boy" ice cream. Yes, boy. Ice cream yes, boy. <laughs> I can't wait to until I can go outside to places again. So that I can go to the ice cream shop and wait until they ask me what I want. Yes, boy. So I can say, ice yes, cream. boy, ice cream. <laughs> and see what they give me. What's the fall guy look like? They're just little beans, right? They yeah, look they're like little minions. beans. They're like minions, but they don't make you want to gouge your eyes out. They're not. Yeah, they haven't been appropriated by uh, boomer Facebook memes yet. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> look, looking forward to in, in five years... Just a bunch of fall guys standing next to I always uh you know Ooh. some something boomers say. Wine and dine. Let's skip the dine. <laughs> there, it's always about being an alcoholic. Yeah. yeah. Like half the time. <laughs> wine and I dine. Saw, more I saw like a boomer wine meme that I liked the fine. other day. What was my, it? My aunt shared it on Facebook and it it was like everyone has that one horse they'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had that. And I horse. believe that was um, attributed to unknown the quote, <laughs> and it had a copyright. Wow, <laughs> it was copyrighted copyright. by the horse mafia. <laughs> Fantastic. That one horse they'll never forget. Yeah. Everyone, please take a moment to think about the one horse you'll never forget. I'll tell you the one I'll never forget. Yeah, yeah. what is it? 
it was is a it, horse is it that i rode King? i've only ridden like two horses ever <laughs> and the first one i was very young so i don't remember that one but the other one i rode in costa rica on mm -hmm. a beach mm -hmm. wow. and that was a, that was a romantic, romantic horse so i remember that horse you had a forever. moment with that horse i'll never forget that horse Jacob, hot, hot Damler wants you to know that Slappy Squirrel wasn't a mom. She was an aunt. Aunts are just moms of their siblings' children. M aunts are just moms of their siblings' <laughs> children. If you think about it. <laughs> aunts are just moms of their siblings' children. Yeah. So do the math. <laughs> and you'll find that it adds up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so whatever you want. Okay, is he a streamer or is he a sandwich? Why not? Why not the both? New killer song. You can be both. <laughs> are we are streamer? streamer? <laughs> or are, are we, we sandwich? sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Great work, team. I'm on my knees looking for the and which. <laughs> In 2020, you can be <laughs> any combination of things you want because who's even going to see you? Right? That's true. <laughs> That's a good You're just point. in your home. Like, what? who's going to stop you? No one's even going to say anything. They won't even know. <laughs> got, as like, soon the as the camera goes teeth. off, I'm an ostrich again. Wow. I put on my feathers. <laughs> bury my head <laughs> in my ostrich hole and it's beautiful that sounds nice it is nice i recommend it are you guys Make ready this tattoo for, idea <laughs> for some deep waldo lore waldo mm -hmm. let's call him wally for the sake of the original <laughs> wally bear comes no from game. we're purists here comes we call from the Wally. land of Wally. Excuse what? me? Where there are other Wallies like no, him. No, it no, is no. a world <laughs> filled with Wallies. No, no, no. Is that a is that a exist in like an alternate plane? Is this of existence? real? Is he an this interdimensional? Is this, is this is in the lore. This is traveler. Canon? Like, is this so he's like the one slayer? Yes. There, there, <laughs> yes. <laughs> The character's age is unknown, but the creator had said if he did have an age, he'd be 32. If he did, okay, well that answers wow. my question. I'm less than a year away from being as old as Where's the one slur? Wally. <laughs> okay, but we need to address the statement. But if the creator one the year creator younger than said, Jesus, the creator had said if he did have an age, he'd be 32. Doesn't that just mean he's 32? Yeah, the creator said no, it. No, he doesn't have an age. Because no, he doesn't have an age. But if he did. But if it he means did, he, it would be. He like looks 32. Yeah, it so means that. like a time lord? People from no, he's the, the land of, of Wally are ageless. But if they did have an age, it would be 32. Several bad puns later. Paprik is kind of like his most popular work. Mm -hmm. And um, it was his last work. And so it's also like the, you know, most recent one. Um, gotcha. And it's it's amazing visually. But... It has not aged like poorly. Like, yeah, if like you, if it you go looks backwards, amazing. it might be a little yeah. rough. Yeah. You scared me with that statement because you were like, it has <laughs> yeah, not like... aged. And I was like, <laughs> what's she going to say? And you were like, it poorly. Has an I'm like, age oh. Period. <laughs> yeah. Barry and... B. Bombas said it has not aged, but if it did, it would be 32. <laughs> <laughs> Chat coming in with the good callbacks. <laughs> good callbacks. We How did I acquire a giant Yugi cutout? I've told this story on a different stream, but long story short, my mom got it <laughs> and I took it. <laughs> Why did she get it? Let me just find the picture. Uh... <laughs> she got it for her Christmas tree and then I took it 
<laughs> so <laughs> same same guy <laughs> cuz you know once she didn't need it for the christmas tree anymore there wasn't a lot to do with it so i just took the whole thing cuz i'm selfish <laughs> And she offered, so. <laughs> Your mom likes Yu-Gi-Oh? Not really. This is kind of a thing she's been doing. Um, she likes decorating. <laughs> and she likes being involved with my interests, which is really cute. Um, so the past few years, she's been doing... Yeah, let's share photos, because... Yeah. Drawing is hard. You know what isn't hard? Remembering f nice things. Um, okay, so the past couple or past three years, she's been doing different. Uh, oh, cool. This is when Tumblr said, I hate having a working layout. So. <laughs> She did Hanzo in 2018. <laughs> Warm wishes for you, Hanzo. And then the balls all had little Hanzo hats and said things like forgiveness <laughs> and redemption. <laughs> um, Tumblr is such a non-functioning thing. I can't, I can't open this picture, but... Yeah, this was the tree. It says Merry and Bright. And it has a little Hanzo. And it has a Hanzo star. Um, here's the other one. And then in 2017, um, for those who don't know, that was the year that Hurricane Harvey hit. So around Christmas time, my parents were still getting their house fixed because the floors got all messed up due to Hurricane Harvey. So they weren't able to put up a Christmas tree. But um, my mom made this, which is the Christmas tree. It's just a wall tree. <laughs> And so this was her first themed Christmas tree. And it's my favorite thing in the world. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so creative. I was so delighted by it. <laughs> I, my favorite part is the uh, Believe McCree. She had this thing that said Believe with Santa on it. And then she pasted McCree's face over it. <laughs> Jacob, do you want to read subs? Our traditional... People are desperate to know about your package, Julia. It, no, of course I would tweet about it if it arrived. It did not arrive, <laughs> It went from pending to uh, we have no information on this package. We have no information. Also, there's this a big red message at the top to of the screen saying that we don't know what's going on because of storms. Hold on. I like to imagine that Hillside, Illinois is like in the eye of a giant like tornado <laughs> that surrounds the entire town. I'd watch a, I'd watch like a prestige drama series called Hillside, Illinois. Oh, and just yeah. have this like Hell yeah. town, the shipping hub that like is surrounded by an endless torrential storm. And the brave souls who have to deliver packages in and out. Yeah, it'll be like Lost. They'll set up a bunch yeah. of interesting mysteries in the first season that like don't have satisfying. <laughs> There's this one mysterious package that's supposed to go to New York, but just won't seem to leave. It keeps yeah. showing back up. <laughs> Should we? So weird. Should we say it's being delivered today? Yeah, let's just let's let's just say, say that. Let's do that. I thought it was delivered today. It How went back is to it here. <laughs> It went back to pending, by the way. The postmaster goes home after a long day of work, turns on his light, and that package is sitting in the middle of his house. <laughs> and he screams. Package is voiced by Mads Mikkelsen. No, he, uh, <laughs> he goes to the airport to go on his uh, end-of-the-year holiday vacation, and then he looks the camera and goes, The package! <laughs> it's like a Home Alone. Yeah. Like a Home thing. Alone. And then the package does that, too. Yeah. Yeah, the package does have hands. Yeah. 
Someone said I was raised by good teachers. I, uh, my parents are both teachers, but I have I had a lot of really good, like, pretty liberal teachers growing up, and they were pretty rad. My first day of religion class was, <laughs> was my professor walking in, and he, because I went to a private school, and he, uh, he just threw his bag on the corner and was like, the Bible's a lie, let's talk about it. Welcome to religion. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway. And it, there's an article called, why would God send a bear to maul children? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. What's the answer? I just found the Bible verse. Are you ready to hear the actual verse? Yes. From there, there was Elisha went up to Bethel. As he was walking up the path, some small boys <laughs> came out of the city and harassed him, chanting, Go up, Baldy! Go up, Baldy! <laughs> he turned around and looked yeah, at them. Jacob. <laughs> And cursed them in the name of the Lord. <laughs> then two female bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the yes, children. Yes, queens. <laughs> Girl so power. got bullied for being bald and was like, <laughs> yo, God, can you do something about this? And God was like, I got you. <laughs> Bro. Female bears to kill all of the children. I came out with the 12-year-olds to razz this dude. Yeah. All the, all the 12-year-olds were doing it and you just <laughs> yeah. wanted to join. And then you got... <laughs> destroyed by two <laughs> lady bears by two yeah. lady bears <laughs> bible's a wild time sirens on the way to arrest you for killing god hi <laughs> <laughs> miss olive i think a good like 20 percent of every, any given stream is us talking to olive <laughs> yeah so i thought like, you were gonna like say my... us talking about the bible <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah that too <laughs> yeah gonna this is a bible, bible stream now <laughs> yeah I love the Bible. The um, Bible. <laughs> I love the part where uh, Sam and Dean get sent to the real world where they're stars in the TV show Supernatural. Is oh, that a in, real episode? In the Bible? Yeah. Damn, it all comes together. <laughs> I love I me love, some Bible meta. <laughs> I love the scene in Supernatural where Sam gets mauled by two female bears along with a bunch of children. No, Sam's the one that they're yelling. Go up, Baldy. Go up. Go up, Baldy. <laughs> they're yelling it at his hairline. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Go up, Baldy. Go, Go up, Baldy. <laughs> It's really good to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because guess, it's like I guess could... we're gonna get mauled by two bears. Yeah. We we're keep saying, saying it. Saying it. <laughs> we're saying it like in an in an empowering. Yeah. Way. Yeah. I want to hear that in like one like a TV show competition. Like someone, you know, really hits some new notes that they're singing at, and the judges just stand up and go, "Go up, Baldy! Go, go up! up! Go up! <laughs> go up, Caldy!" Go up, Caldy. Uh, what better way to indicate the angle of the cheeks than with some tastefully placed pockets? Yeah, I like the fingernails of the butt. I wish <laughs> we could that go might be back. The most regrettable thing ever said on this. <laughs> I wish we could go back to before. Because <laughs> that's how you indicate the angle of the fingers and yeah. the drawing. Yeah, they're, they're, the they're, the, they're the, the, like the, the same thing. Ass pockets are the are the fingernails of the butt. That's no. a thing. It that makes we, sense. Yeah. You're right. You are right. <laughs> One of the worst things I've ever said on drawing. I wish something. I wish we could go back. <laughs> it was it was brave. It was brave and right. <laughs> Ass chin. 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 ASMR. Ass chin ASMR. Did I ever tell my story about Furby? You're the Furby man. What's your story about Furby? So um growing up my best friend dan his sister got a furby and basically within like two days they hated the thing because it wouldn't stop talking as you did with furby i guess and 
and so I was hanging out with Dan and Rich and the Furby just kept talking as we were hanging out. This, I was in like elementary school. Anyway, uh, Furby kept talking and my friend Rich said, oh, you should just throw it. And I was like, okay. So I threw it, but right as I was in the motion of throwing it, it was saying, but I love you. And it crashed into the wall and it got but stuck. I the love word. you. <laughs> yeah. It got stuck on the word mom. So it just goes, but I love you. <laughs> oh, it was like it's life force bleeping out. Yeah. Wow. It was horrifying. Julia, would you like to draw <laughs> a picture? Is here. Julia. Wow. Of the cameras. Thank Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Julia, he's dead. <laughs> Why is he dead? A uh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok of Goofy just floating in the fountain with that song slowly playing. It's been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to send you the gif on Discord. Please do. <laughs> I love the it so much. The pose is really good. You got the like the angle of the feet and the it's really well it's, it's good pose executed. <laughs> oh my god, Julia. <laughs> Everything I know about Death Stranding is just secondhand through my roommate. We have a model of the baby in our living room. That's amazing. How big? That's pretty, pretty big. big. Yeah. I'm not going to get the baby. It's not mine. <laughs> I don't mind the baby. I like the baby. It's supposed to like, it has a light and it's supposed to make baby sounds, but um, they got it because uh, it was broken and their friend got a replacement. So <laughs> <laughs> now we go. just have a very silent baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's my kind of baby. Life size in the living room. A quiet baby. It's just one of the many good decorating choices around our apartment, like the bathroom Naruto. Wait. <laughs> What's the bathroom Naruto? Naruto? The bathroom Naruto. That's the Naruto in the bathroom. <laughs> it sounds like folklore. <laughs> the legend of the bathroom Naruto. <laughs> Some folks say that Naruto's still in the bathroom to It's just this a day. Naruto statue that I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it in my bathroom because it kind of matched the ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> that Naruto's just, got I think like, it looks nice. <laughs> that Naruto's got pee particles all over him now. He is yellow. So That's it true. works. Yeah, so oh, yeah. it already matched. There you go. Memory. All alone in the moonlight. Great. Yeah. I assume you're going to draw next since you're yeah. there and you have a cat in your lap. Kitty. Show everyone kitty. Kitty. Do you want the circle attaches to the circle. circle. The circle attaches to the circle. And then you just, you bridge the gap to get young voters to vote. You have to bridge the gap. To get young people to vote. Hey, y'all, you should all vote. Guitar. This is how you draw a guitar. Oh. <laughs> and we're gone.